I'm sure you'd like to take some weight off your cloven hooves. Calling me the devil? How original, Raymond. Actually, I was calling you a goat. You goat. <laughs> <laughs> the math thing isn't the problem. Night shift's keeping you and Kevin apart. You two just need a bone. <laughs> what did you say? Don't say it again. I said you two need a bone. How dare you, Detective Diaz? I am your superior officer! Bone! What happens in my bedroom, Detective, is none of your business. Bone! Don't ever speak to me like that again. I'm sorry, haven't I been bursting in a song enough for you lately? Would you like me to click my heels together or skip like a school child? Oh, what? Are you gonna arrest me for dancing? You call that dancing? Oh. This is dancing. What is happening? I'm defusing a situation. <laughs> dancing happened. Let's capture an image of a lifetime. You can be a bit judgmental. What a stupid thing to say. Name one time when I've been judgmental. Okay. What a stupid thing to say. Oh, I see. Sorry about him. He's a little abrasive. The name's Maxwell. Maxwell. Carol. You see, the thing about gas lines is the pressure just builds and builds. Sometimes it just needs a little release. If she asks me, then yes, I suppose I will have to blow your spot right up. Making it the eighth largest metropolitan statistical area. Yeah, Philly's cool. Isn't it fun just telling each other facts? Yes. yes. Well, I think I have all the information I need. Thank you for coming in, Mr. Larkin. My pleasure. So, looks like Operation Nasty is a full-on success, huh? You mean Operation Nasty Sex Lot? As it was by now with you? Didn't you see him flirting with me? No, I most definitely did not. Then you're a blind man and a prude to boot. Did you see his tie? A single Windsor, the easiest knot to undo. Pfft, why bother wearing any clothes at all? I think you badly misread that interaction. Please, he did everything but lick his lips and purr. Get rid of him. I don't know why you're telling me. I'm not involved. You made that very clear. And you should see her heavy, feminine breasts with their perfectly placed nipples. Don't get me started on a can. What's your greatest fear? I ain't scared of nothing. My girlfriend. I'm scared she'll find out about my mistress, who also has a perfect can. It's smaller, but it's harder. Secret tie. First of all, I think you're kind of overdoing it with the manscaping, but do you want a president who struggled against all odds to create this great organization, or do you want a great nothing who struggled against nothing odds to create nothing? Yikes. I'm not sweating. No, I've had enough heart attacks to know what sweating looks like. Not sweat. Well, if I'm sweating, as you claim, it's because I was watching an exciting video on the net. Oh, really? What? It was a video of an American gymnast. His leotard ripped, exposing his butt. It's highly erotic. You're lying. I thing to say. What's a Thanksgiving gift? He's been strutting around like a peacock, trying desperately to arouse me, his unwilling peahen. Did you hear there's a barrel making exhibit at the Brooklyn Museum of Industry? Yes. Has he no shame? The door was open. I think he wanted people to hear. Yeah. That's my favorite part of a woman. There's nothing more intoxicating than the clear absence of a penis. But you're right, I need to forget about Crystal. Thanks for the advice. I'm off to plow my mistress. Cool names. The best name I ever brought in was Narrow Shoes Sam because his shoes were narrow and his name was Sam. I get it. Yeah, you get it. And Terrier is intelligent and inquisitive with a bold personality. <laughs> a bold personality. We know what that's code for. She's a bitch. Did we take too much cold medicine? Not by a long shot. Balthazar is a thirsty bitch. Ah. Is that a promise? Or just another lollipop that no one's ever gonna lick? Look, Gina, is that a talking raisin? <laughs> Mama! Is everything okay over here? Yes, couldn't be better. Because I destroyed you both. What the hell? I thought you said this wasn't about winning. I did say that. So you would go slower and I would win, which is what happened. You're just as competitive as we are. Absurd. I'm more competitive. Now, who's the bomb? 
Kelly won't tell me anything. He won't even meet with me. Perhaps you can sneak in disguised as an old leather chair. Microsoft Word is not a special skill, Marcy Lux from South Orange. Well, thank you, Raymond. I just happen to be in the neighborhood that I check on your progress. Um, we have a solid lead. Suspicious online behavior from someone using... Go ahead and gloat, you toad. Thank you for this honor, Deputy Chief. Oh. Okay. You're welcome. Lunch time is over. Boom, did it! <laughs> Had it both ways. No regrets. Lunch, would you like to go to the barrel making exhibit this evening? Yes, Captain Holt. I can make time for that. I need a shower. Believe me, they're perfect. They're about five and a half pounds each, and they look so good smushed together or dangling. Permission to arrest Diaz for being a jerk. Permission to shoot Santiago for being a coward. Stop it, both of you. Now you've done it. You've made me turn my chair. The night shift stinks. Stinks like a butt. Diaz, congratulations on moving on to the second round, said I, sarcastically. The spam boy stuff is a little much. The only thing that's a little much around here are your scrawled on eyebrows. Yeesh. You would take the loser's side, Jeffords, you bitch. Trash talk. OK, I don't like this. I'm going to go. How dare you disobey me? Come on, sir. It was a good tip, and we're trying to catch a serial killer. Well, then, let's see this tip, this groundbreaking tip that threatens to blow the case wide open. OK, I know this tone. Here comes Petty Holt. Nah, bitch, I'm not being petty. You just said, nah, bitch. Show me the tip. Oh, goody gumdrops. All you have to do is say a few nice comments during the memorial. As God said, when once tried to sneak past the gates into heaven, it ain't happening, honey. You're not hell. You're looking for Al. Of course we're looking for Al, you imbecile! That's a code. A code? Exciting. I'll go get my pencil case. I bet it's a room number. Third floor, fifth room, room 305. That's definitely it. Oh, great. Great, great. Santiago has solved it. Oh, what am I looking at? Your friend here was very clumsy, and he spilled on himself. Well, uh, we got everything we needed, but I can wait if Maxwell needs a little more time to dry off. No, no and this beautiful handcrafted card of a turkey wearing a top hat. It's a pilgrim's hat. Where's the buckle, Santiago? And what do you hope to get out of this, Madeline? Let me guess, revenge on Dorothy for killing your sister. Motorcycles are death machines. I have three kids. I'm not risking it. Are you saying my life matters less because I don't conform to society's heteronormative, child-centric ideals? Are you really playing the gay card right now? Yeah, Queen. I was voted least friendly in high school, and here I am, a police captain. Do you know what Mr. Popularity Vincent Mondale is doing these days? It's a sociologist, for God's sake. Sociologist, Terry. And uh, who will be on cheddar duty? I mean, can't we just distract him with a bone? Bone? 